Welcome back, my hypersexual beings. Before we start mixing our adhesive, we need to talk about safety. Is the gas mask necessary? No. But we do need a well-ventilated area. Remember, this stuff is flammable and it can be harmful to your lungs. So make sure to open up a window, get a fan going, because you don't want to be breathing this stuff in and absolutely no smoking. It is highly flammable. It will catch on fire. <laughs> the next thing that we need to talk about is the tools that you're going to need to start mixing your solvents and your rubber cement. You will need mason jars with lids so that you can store them. And one thing too, I started pouring my solvents into a mason jar by itself because it was easier for me to extract out the um, solvent as needed with the syringe instead of trying to get it out of the canister. It is not easy to pour. So we have that. The syringes are great too. If you over pour, you'll see that in this video coming up. Don't forget your gloves. You do not want to get this stuff on your hands. It is toxic. And that's pretty much it. But I broke my measuring beaker. No, this is not the one I use. Of course I would have something like this. I had a normal one, but I busted it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this with a scale instead, because I'm sure a lot of people will be running into this. And I'm sure people are gonna be like, well, why didn't you just use like a measuring cup from the kitchen? I have a plastic one and I don't wanna be mixing these chemicals into that. And I just couldn't find the right size that I needed to do this and you should be mixing your stuff in glass containers anyway so let's go ahead and jump into this you are going to be doing 30 percent solvents and 70 percent of your rubber spent to make this mixture i accidentally broke my glass beaker and that had my milliliters readings on it. So I'm gonna have to do some converting of some things, but I'm gonna keep it simple because I know that you guys might be using this stuff and doing it at home. So this is what's going on. I ran all over hell today, everywhere, trying to find the exact cups that I needed with the milliliters readings on them. But the problem I kept running into was they were too big for larger batches of like paint because they're like paint mixing cups. So, um, and I couldn't get into Hobby Lobby because of Sunday. Um, they probably don't want me in there anyway, let's be honest, <laughs> especially not for this project. But, <laughs> so what I decided to do is I went and I got these medicine syringes from the CVS and I put 10 milliliters of each of these into these syringes. I put my little bottles on the scale and I zeroed out the scale before I shot my substances into them. Um, and the solvent came out to six grams on the scale. So the total volume is 10 in this container and what the actual weight is is six grams. So now I have to go through and make this so I'm not doing the math as, you know, 10 milliliters. It needs to be one milliliter and what the actual weight of that is, which is 0 0.6. And I did the same thing over here. So this one weighed in at the actual weight of seven grams, same thing. So for the volume of one milliliter of this, it's going to be 0 0.7 grams. Now we're just going to flip these around. So these are the actual numbers that you'll need. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> so we know that one milliliter in volume is going to weigh on the scale as 0 0.6 grams. And over here, one milliliter volume of the rubber cement is going to weigh in at 0 0.7 grams. So since I'm doing a 30-70 split, I just have to multiply this number by 30, which comes out to 18 grams. And then for this, I have to multiply that number by 70, which equals 49 grams on the scale. Because the volume 
and density, those are two different numbers, y'all, <laughs> because this one's heavier and this one's lighter. But as you can see, they have the same amount of fluid in there, so they're both at 10. But I hope that you guys help, or I hope you found this helpful, especially if you're not using the same brand as me with the solvent and the rubber glue. You might actually have to do this at home so you can get your ratios right um, or your numbers right to do your ratios because, um, well, you know, you need to get them right because if you don't get them right, it will not work very well. <laughs> Remember to zero out your scale. I'm pouring in my rubber cement. I over poured, so I'm using that syringe from earlier to get out the excess, putting it back into the container. Now zeroing out the scale again. Don't forget to zero out the scale. You are going to take your solvent and that is the 10 milliliters from earlier. I just poured in there and I'm gonna use the syringe so that I don't accidentally over pour my solvent into this mixture. Now just mix it up and you're ready with your adhesive. Look at that, right at 100 milliliters in volume. Told ya. <laughs> and isn't this just a fun consistency? Now that your latex adhesive is all mixed up, in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to apply your adhesive like a pro so that you don't mess up your latex projects at home. Thank you so much for watching. In Dominance, Domina Gray.